We just learned that Adobe won a Primetime Emmy Award for Engineering Excellence this year. Uh, the award is for, awarded for a new technology that is helping to change the shape of the TV industry. So we're very excited about that. I, I, we view it as a validation, uh, both of just the, the, the movement of TV everywhere as a whole, and that's really become a reality, and also a recognition of the unique role that Adobe has played in terms of enabling that industry movement. Um, so it, it, we really are in a unique position in the sense that we're a true independent party here. The industry uh, players trusted coming to Adobe to really help bring all the various parties together, uh, both on the programmer side uh, and on the pay TV side, and trust in, in Adobe to, to help uh, really make it easier for all the different parties and including the, the, the end users. So it's, uh, it, it's a nice uh, recognition of, uh, of what we've been able to do to, to help uh, enable this industry. TV Everywhere is really uh, starting to take off uh, this year. The, the, the concept itself came out about three years ago, but now with uh, huge events like the Olympics, uh, which did require uh, users to be a pay TV subscriber, uh, we really see that as a big watershed moment for the industry. Um, so uh, in just a, a short, uh, roughly two-week period, we actually saw close to 90 million authenticated streams uh, for 10 million authenticated devices. Uh, all being enabled through Adobe Pass. Uh, a number of other uh, just content deals are being signed that involve TV everywhere. So that was also another thing that uh, I think we needed to come first in terms of just having the, the deals in place. But now, thanks to Adobe Pass and it, uh, enabling people who have these deals in place to go ahead and bring their content online uh, really quickly, we really see this is uh, really starting to take off. Uh, we now have over 45 different sites and apps that are enabled by Adobe Pass, uh, coming from 25 different programmers. We also now enable over 150 different pay TV operators who collectively make up over 98% of all pay TV households uh, in the U.S. And so we really have a, a good base to start from there, and I think we're just going to see more and more content uh, coming online and more and more people starting to, to watch that. We see Adobe's role uh, in, in TV everywhere really in terms of making the whole concept easier for all the different parties involved. So we make it easier for the programmers to, to bring their content uh, online and connect to all of the various pay TV operators that are out there. And especially for the users, we want to make the, the best possible user experience. So one of the ways we do that is we now have a feature where as long as the operator supports it and the user has both their broadband and TV service from the same provider, they don't even have to enter their credentials at all. As long as they're on their home network, they can recognize who they are, they know which channels they subscribe to in their package, and they can enable their various mobile devices at home without even having to, to, to do a login. So anything that Adobe Pass can do to, to help users uh, get to the content that they're entitled to uh, are, are things that we're going to help out with. And the, the auto login feature is just one example of that. So the big initiatives for Adobe Pass in, in the, the, the coming year uh, are going to be around things like discoverability. So, as I mentioned, we already have uh, 45 sites and apps enabled by Adobe Pass that, that are out there. Uh, we have a whole, uh, whole, whole lot more coming on board shortly. But users don't necessarily know that they're entitled uh, to, to be able to, to watch these different uh, sites and, and how to find them. So some uh, programmers have done a good job getting the word out, but our hope is to be able to work with the operators themselves. It's, it's their customers, after all and uh, get the message out to their users that because of their pay TV subscription, they now have access to all these other great places to get content. And so we can work with them to, to help with cross-programmer uh, discoverability and really get uh, make sure people are getting the full value uh, out of their pay TV subscription. Uh, other things we're, we're looking to do, uh, again, just continuing on the theme of ease of use, anything we can do to help people get to the content that they're entitled to, so we're looking to things like potentially working with uh, third-party social logins, for example. So maybe instead of having to enter your uh, pay TV uh, credentials, uh, you could enter a Facebook ID. Uh, and, and so some, something that you may already be logged in on Facebook for, for other reasons, and it would be another case where you might not have to do anything to, to be able to get to the content. Uh, and, and already uh, we have uh, the single sign-on concept where once you're logged in just once with your operator, you can actually go across different apps, across different uh, programmer websites, and not have to keep on logging in over and over. And we're, we're really hoping to, to, to work with, with folks to extend the, the time uh, that people can do that before they would have to log in again. 
uh, and really just make sure that user uh, experience and getting to that content is uh, the, the, the primary focus uh, and, and not a barrier for folks. Uh, and lastly, international expansion is going to be big uh, next year. So we've already uh, got great traction here in the United States. Uh, again, 98% of all KTV operators are, uh, are, are hooked to the system. So we're now looking to replicate what we've built here and take that abroad. So we're already having uh, conversations uh, in Asia, uh, in uh, South America, uh, Canada, uh, early conversations starting to happen in Europe. So there, there may be some differences in just the, the dynamics of the, the TV industry over there, but we feel that the concept of helping to bring all the parties together and really serving as the glue for the industry, as we've done here, uh, really uh, can get some great traction uh, internationally as well.